show you guys how to do the actual uh, animation. Now you're not animating the, 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 the sketch of drawing, you're actually animating the view of the drawing. So let me explain what I'm talking about here, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna lose the guy there and I'm gonna draw a rectangle, okay? All right now obviously a rectangle has six sides, it's three dimensional. So we're gonna make a little tour of the rectangle, okay? So what we're gonna do is uh, there's several tools that you can use to navigate around your object and you've got the orbit, the pan, and the zoom. Those are the three we're going to use today. There's other tools you can use but those are just the essential ones you can fool around with. Okay now um, first thing you want to do is you want to create like your establishing shot so let's let's kind of like you know back up here a little bit and make an establishing shot. That's where our movie or animation is going to begin. So now we go to the first thing you do is go to view animation add scene okay so when I did that notice that the scene showed up right here that's scene one but when I click on it that's gonna happen because I'm still in that position so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new scene but the first thing I do is I gotta move so that I can actually see how this scene is different than the first so I'm gonna use the orbit tool so I'm gonna grab the orbit tool I'm gonna turn about that much I did not want to turn too much I don't want to make it too choppy so I'm gonna turn to that little bit right there and now I'm gonna go to view animation as scene. So now I've got two scenes. So now if I go back to scene one and now I go to scene two now you can see how some movement has occurred. So I'm going to keep doing that. So I'm going to move it just a little bit more like this. I'm going to go to view, animation, add scene. Okay. I'm going to turn some more. View, animation, add scene. Do it again. View, animation, Add scene. So now I've got I've got a total of five scenes. Uh, let's use this tool here. We can actually zoom in on a scene too. So we're going to zoom in like that, and we'll go to view animation as scene. So you can use these tools here. Let's just do one with the uh, the pan just to give you a sense of what happens there, and go to view animation add scene. Now I've got my my seven scenes. If I now go to view, and I go back to animation, and I go to play you can see what I've done so far. So when you hit the, uh, now right now I'm not holding onto the mouse or anything. The uh, computer now is just going through the different scenes and if you look at the top you'll see that each scene is highlighted. You can also delete scenes, move them, uh, whatever you need to do, but <clears throat> it looks like the box is spinning, but in reality uh, the view of the box is what's spinning. So uh, uh, once you've got all your animation done, for this project like I said before, about 30 scenes is really good. Just kind of show off your drawing. That's kind of what this is all about, like for a client or something like that. And once again, you're trying to make like a commercial to uh, to showcase your work so that you can, you know, hopefully get your client to purchase whatever it is that you created. All right. <clears throat> now, when you're done looking at it, you hit the stop button, and then this is really cool, but it doesn't do you much good outside of SketchUp. So now we're going to save it. So go to File, and go to uh, <coughs> what's called uh, Export. Okay, Export's where you want to go. And under Export, you go to Animation. Okay, and this is going to actually save your animation to what's called an AVI file which is something like a movie that would play in Windows uh, uh, Media Player or also something you'd import to, to Movie Maker as well. So I'm just going to call it Untitled for now. I'm going to save it on the desktop and we're going to make this little video. Now when you do this, uh, my computer's acting up here, hit Export and it's going to make all the little videos here. Okay, It's going to make all the little frames that when put together is going to make a video. So it's almost done here. Okay, <coughs> When it's done you can actually watch it. So this will be this at this point will be something you can use in Windows Movie Maker or you can play in Media Player. So we'll close this now. I'm not going to save mine. You can save yours. Then we're going to find it and it should be here on the desktop. And let's see what we got. And once again see how Media Player opened up and you can see a, a version of of your, your animation right here. So that is how you save your animation. Now from here we're going to take this file and put it into Movie Maker, and that's where you would add your your audio and stuff like that, titles and things like that. Okay.